Ah! No! No! Ah! I'm surrounded! Quick! Duck and cover inside that metal box! Oh, no. Hey guys, it's Krebsy here and welcome back to War Thunder. In today's video, what we're going to be taking out is a very, 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 very derpy vehicle. It's going to be the three inch gun carrier. Take a look at it. I love how the, the treads are so sophisticated. The overall design is sophisticated, but then when the designers were making it, they're like, ah, oh, let's screw it. We're just going to stick a box right in the middle. <laughs> and there you go. That's how the three inch gun carrier was born. Now this vehicle, well, I don't know. Uh, this is actually going to be one of the first games ever that I've taken out this vehicle. So this is going to be killing two birds with one stone. Making a video, but also a learning experience. Now, this vehicle comes out of a battle ring of 3.0. It's not premium, you can actually unlock it. Would you want to unlock this thing? <laughs> Looking at that derpiness. So, it can actually see a lot of low tier enemies, and that can mean for a quite easy matches, to be honest. So what I'm going to be doing is going on the defensive here on Tunisia, rather than going on the offensive. This vehicle, I feel, is a lot more about defending. It's not quite like an attack or aggressive vehicle like a T-34 or, or any sort of fast sort of vehicle out there. It's uh, got decent mobility, about 20 kilometers per hour, but still not enough to sort of, you know, flank the enemies. Plus it has a locked gun, a fixed position mounted gun, so going on defensive is definitely, definitely, definitely recommended. But I've got to be a little bit careful here, I can see somebody pondering about, pondering about their own business in the desert just up ahead, so we're going to try to intercept him. There he is. Ah, it's a little Z's. I don't know what that Z's. How you doing, bro? Alright, let's get the thingy in the aim. Aim that down. Take a shot. Oh, they killed a bunch of stuff. And can we finish him is the question. Fire the gun! Oh god, it didn't hit. I think he might have gotten away just in time, did he? Oh, that sneaky snake. Slippery snake he is. He managed to get away in time. Fortunately, we didn't kill his driver. Oh wait, wh whoa! Whoa, did you guys just see that? He disappeared and then he reappeared. Freaking Houdini. Alright. And let's take a shot again. There we go, we finished him off. But what I've got to do is I've got to probably back off here and get in a better position. Because it looks like the enemies are making an offensive over on the right hand side. Now hopefully I won't get shot into my side armor as I traverse across the desert. This vehicle has some really bad sort of reversing speeds. Oh, here we go. We got an enemy. Enemy bogey. This guy is so oblivious. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Critical hit on the engine. We really need to move, though. I think something was shooting me in my back. It is indeed. So we just gotta get down this cover. Can we stop? God. Damn, lost two guys as a result. Where was he shooting me from? I was hoping that the ditch would have been sufficient enough to uh, get away from them. But apparently not. It was not enough. Can we stabilize? There we go. The gun was jumping up and down a little bit. We got the gunner. He's just about dead, but oh my god, that guy that shot me in my backside. Ugh. Killed two of my guys, that's unfortunate. If he killed one, that would have been fine. It's just the fact that he killed more, and then I don't have uh, even more crew members, enough crew members, even. Hello, T-50. I am literally the only guy here. He's going to kill me. I'm the only guy here, so I am probably going to die, I imagine. Oh, God. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that wasn't good. Yeah, that's what he needed. The sweet spot at the back. Okay, but it's not over just yet. We still have quite a few guys. They have quite a few guys. We just got overrun, unfortunately. 
And I think a really big problem was I lost two of my crew members. Because then I would have been able to kill that T-34 faster and then readjust for the other enemies that were moving up on our position. Oh, okay, right. So they're getting... No, we're on the cap zone. Yeah, we're on the cap zone on their base. And then they're going to be moving in on our cap zone soon here as well. I think that's an enemy over there. It is. Damn. What are you going to be doing? Moving out of the way? That was a horrible shot. That was absolutely terrible. That was pretty bad as well. Now I'm hoping that that bomb won't come for me. Ha! Oh, it was. He was trying it. Right, we're going to use some measurements here. To get something more precise. 600. Around there. There we go. He took out my track, but I took out his gunner and his horizontal. So we've technically did more. I think that went slightly short, was it? Let's try again. Gunner again! This guy's having a bad day. Krebsy's giving this guy a bad day. Come on, we can keep on laying on into him. No, nope, not if he runs away like that. Alright, we're gonna traverse now through... The deserts. Formidable, formidable deserts. I'm a T17E2 helping the defense of Tunisia. How? How? What is shooting me? Oh, it's you. Well, he's alive. But not anymore. <laughs> we killed the whole gang in there. He would have he been still alive if it wasn't for this Churchill 3. Or this three-inch gun carrier. I am a formidable foe. Okay, here we go. What is that? T-34? Cannon breach. Sweet. Do you see what he's trying to do? What the hell is that? Oh, it's an SPAA. Interesting. Alright, we gotta move before we use this. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher is used. And I can see him. Bastard. We've got to run. Got to run. Got to get deep in the enemy zone here. Oh, we need defense. We really, really need defense here. Oh, boy. This is bad. There's going to be enemies to my right. Is that him? Oh, it is. Stop! The gun! Ah! No! No! Ah! I'm surrounded! Quick! Duck and cover inside that metal box of yours! Oh, God. Ah! The gun! It's all broken. Holy crap, how many points am I making from this? Let's take a look. Whoa! Look! I can just refresh this and we're making more and more points. Holy shit. Keep shooting me. Keep going. Wow! Keep shooting me. Don't give up, SPAA! Oh wait, no, he's going on the backside. No! No! <laughs> Holy crap! The amount of points! From just literally tanking shells. Literally tanking shells. That was amazing. And somehow I got three kills. I don't remember making three kills. Did I actually get three kills, guys? Yeah, apparently I did. Not to say that that's amazing or anything. Oh, damn, we skipped the score screen. Not to say that that's amazing or anything, but... Uh, that, that was a lot of points in the end from simply just soaking up shells. And I guess it's a testimony of how much this tank can soak up shells. Uh, fun vehicle. Pretty fun vehicle. So what are your guys' thoughts and impressions on this vehicle? Feel free to leave that in the comment box below. I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. Uh, the thing that I like about these Churchill variants is that they seem to be relatively powerful. Not the Churchill 7. I mean, that has a lot of armor, but it does has like really bad shells that do no pe penetration. But everything else seems pretty much okay. 
really good. And uh, one thing that I've definitely noticed is that the tank treads seem to silk up a lot of oncoming shells. Because they're so big. Like, if you put these next to each other, it'd probably be the same uh, width as the main body of the tank in the middle here. So, and you know, they're kind of protruding as well. So they can take a lot of abuse. You know, if, if you're angled to your side and the enemy shoots, it can easily just go into those treads. Yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. And until the next one, this is Krabzy. What would you like to see in the next episode? Till then, bye-bye.